Today, I want to talk about problem with the cloud that no one is talking about. All right, maybe it's a little too dramatic, but yeah, I want to talk about cloud a little bit. And I want to talk about what prevents some people from migrating their stuff to the cloud and kind of what I hear from different people. So let's do that. Okay, so first disclaimer, I'm not expert on cloud technologies and I also don't deal with pricing. So this, this is just sort of talking and things that I hear from different people. And what I hear is sort of two different arguments. I hear some people say like cloud technology is amazing. We dumped our data center, we migrate everything to the cloud and we're in so much better place now. And other people say, we don't care. It doesn't matter to us. It doesn't help us. In fact, it hurts us. Uh, cloud storage is more expensive than data center storage. So in fact, we don't want it. And so this is why I kind of thought it might be interesting to talk about. So here's what I've been thinking. Uh, to me, it seems like there are two types of customers that want to use cloud. Uh, there are people who are direct end users, who are like corporations who are going to put their data in the cloud and use it. And there's other type of user who are resellers. So that would be uh, maybe like a private cloud providers or uh, e-discovery vendors, right? So those are the people who don't store their data, they store someone else's data and they resell uh, that service, they resell the storage. And I think those two types of customers have different mentalities when it comes to cloud services, cloud storage and so on. Uh, again, I don't, I'm just talking, I'm not actually knowledgeable in depth on this subject. So this is more for a discussion. So let's talk about first type of customer, the direct users. So those are the corporations. And I feel like they can justify moving to cloud much easier than anyone else. They can think of like, all right, we get rid of our data center, we're putting our stuff in the cloud, we're gonna have so many more tools to use, we're gonna have less personnel that needs to tend to our data center, so we'll get all kinds of benefits from it, and it's, easy, it's easier for them to justify that transition going from their data center into the cloud. But for resellers, I think it's a little different. In fact, I think it's a lot different. So when you're reselling like storage services, uh, like document hosting, to a reseller client, it doesn't matter where documents are stored. As long as the documents can be accessed when they need it, right? So when you click on a document, the document shows up and the client is reasonably aware that their data is stored in secure data center. They, they don't really care if it's in a data center, if it's in the cloud, if it's on the external hard drive plugged in computer, into, into Bob's computer. Okay, maybe, maybe some will have objection with the, the external hard drive. But, it, but the point is, it doesn't matter. If they give a reseller or vendor their data, the data is accessible, data is secure, who cares where the data resides? And so this is where we get into the problem. See, if you already have a data center that's fairly modern, uh, you have staff to support that, everything is running well. Well, in that situation, it is more expensive to store your documents in the cloud than it is to store in your data center. So if you're a reseller of storage services, it doesn't make sense for you to migrate to the cloud. Sure, cloud providers will give you all the story about how all this extra stuff you get, but major part of a reseller is selling those hosting services, is billing client for that storage. So if your expense will go up by you going to the cloud, well, you get to bill your client for less. So you automatically billing less money per month and to a lot of resellers, that doesn't make sense. Like, why would I do that? Why would I just start billing my clients less and make less money? And some will say, you know, everything's gonna wind up in the cloud anyway. You know, you're not gonna continue upgrading your data center forever. The cloud rates are gonna drop. So might as well, you know, just suck it up and start paying the cloud whatever prices they are and just, you know, rip the bandaid off, get it done with migrate and be done. But here's the problem. You would not do the same thing in your personal life. Here's an example. Like, let's say your rent is going to go up at the end of the year. Well, you wouldn't be like, oh, I'm just gonna suck it up and start paying higher rent now. No, you wouldn't do that. You would try to pay as low a rent as possible for as long as possible until you absolutely have to pay the higher rent. So why would you expect resellers or other companies to do the same? They're going to hang on as long as possible, paying the lowest amount for storage as possible. And, have, and your own data center is what gives them that cheapest price. 
Yeah, so those are my thoughts. I don't, I don't really know if I have a conclusion here. I guess these are just kind of things that I hear and my thoughts. And um, if you guys agree, disagree, like what are your thoughts on the situation? You know, how long should uh, resellers of storage hang on to their own data centers? Uh, I don't know, as long as possible, as long as the price uh, is the same, until the price is gonna be the same as the cloud storage probably. That's my thoughts. Anyway, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time.